he moved back to basically at one point in time had two houses, sold one and had to basically be in a place that was just temporary. The apartment was just because we were fixing the houses from time and again that we had to do something before juggling three places and me trying to demonstrate that the gameplay is mine that I synced with PlayStation. I know this is a 360, but on a device that basically was something that I was able to buy thanks to the stimulus and I know that this is Ortega on the Ortega. I know back when I had MySpace, I uploaded the ending and still had everything that I had once basically had my possession. And this is from 2006 that I played through this and got the Mega Man costume but didn't want to wear the whole entire thing. And this is where hmm. Isabella basically and Carlos, the guy that basically helps the sister out and brother Duro that had basically tried to cover up the thing with the virus and similar now all these Capcom games <coughs> have elements of plague and, and death. So basically this, I can't control this and I just basically was demonstrating that this is my gameplay in an old elite controller I know that's compatible with the 360 I basically played Xbox at one point in time and was all Microsoft, Nintendo, and Sony in the gaming realm that are the main stream line can companies I just I was thundering but we had moved And at the apartment, people tried to say that it wasn't my gameplay and my last name's Ortega and the whole thing with the Mothman was art that I draw. Something that I wanted to get off the ground but didn't have the will how. I, I kind of did and didn't, but then I, I kind of do and don't. I, I can tinker with computers and, and like basically edit stuff in such a way that it looks like it's computer generated. And sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't, but I just demonstrated basically stuff that I was able to do back then when I had free time and I was able to do a lot of stuff back then when I had a lot of free time. I was in the Kauffman Foundation to 2004 to 2006 and then basically the same foundation wanted me to be a game designer, but it was cut short because I had surgery that people make fun of me for and I had no say in it because it was forced on me by bad advice by people that basically force something upon a person when they're like 14, 15, 16 going into 17 and somehow took a test that I had all the proof and evidence and the, the, whole, the whole thing about that world was I had a whole thing of proof to the world that I was worth a damn and people will make fun of you saying that you're not even worth the paper that it's printed on and trying to say it's not you even though I had a mole on the side of my face in 2004 that photo I shown back when I played Resident Evil 7 
I I had showed off the high school photo and talked a little bit about it, but then stuff had occurred where I kept getting people that were angry off me and saying I was a fool and didn't go to school, and that wasn't the case. I had all the proof in the world, but if I show all that off, I put edited my albums to where they wouldn't show off everything because I didn't want us to get her off shit that I had no control over but you think that the law firm that my father works for and you think that the Coffin Foundation themselves wouldn't allow me to get hurt even though I did get hurt in the past so I figured I had all the proof even snuck out my ID my badge from there because I knew they were going to eventually try and shift me to basically try to disacknowledge me or dis they disbanded, but for whatever reason, they didn't believe me. The neighbors were assholes, and they would basically do this to ridicule people and belittle them. And the KU, back then, I had I had went to therapy after a certain pound of time, and they probably didn't believe me. But for whatever reason, I already had a trial back then and won my freedom off of me going basically upon something that people put you in a position where you felt like you didn't matter and they would do shit to you and ridicule you and say that you're the most disgusting person but I didn't really do anything that bad to anyone physically other than at one point in time just basically had to help had to hold, hold on to hope that something would occur and someone can like you know, like, help you with, with resources and stuff, but if they didn't listen to you, what was the point of it? Like, well, why would you even go bother doing this, put effort into it, and they would just ridicule you? And it just sucks that my side would get shunned, and they would try to say over and over and over again that this isn't who you are, why are you even posting, and stuff, and they don't even know me off stuff that they just hear about secondhand rumors and lies and shit and then basically make up a bunch of weird shit about you and I had to go through that the entire way through high school after high school everything else and have the basically proof of stuff that I posted via photographs that I had that were legitimately proof at one point in time but people would be assholes about it and try to <laughs> shun you off and say you don't get a, get a voice and of being sort of like co-conspirators of just basically having them be assholes towards you and I just proved that this was my device it wasn't used at said Ortega at one point in time I played video games I wasn't on drugs I wasn't in a gang I don't know gang members I didn't do anything to anyone I was just trying to just show back when I had my space Way back in 2003 up until 2010, I made a Facebook page, but for whatever reason, I would get ridiculed, they'd call me a psychopath, and all sorts of shit, and wouldn't listen to me. The only people that I had were Evan and Andrew, that were my, around my age, that could help me out, but I pissed off Evan, and I just knew that they would say stuff behind our backs, and I really didn't say anything bad about them up until afterwards and he helped me out greatly that he, he basically would take me out places when I would basically be shy around people and stuff. I know I post a lot of shit but it's just something that they can't just go about and do something to you if you have evidence. And if they do do something to you, you probably can sue them or the family of minds can probably go back and sue them if we get hurt off this or basically have to explain that people can get fired from their jobs all over this stuff but do you think that the Coffin Foundation would help me out me really being a part of that and I know I have my shirt off but I figured no one can claim that this is someone else and no one can say that because I've been into a hospital that with my name tag on my, around my wrist that had my name that I go about business of having to say that I was some kind of weird guy and then I just didn't amount to anything but 
saying I was a disgrace basically without realizing that it hurts and I hadn't really done anything I'm not on commercials of the Royals I might be out to Royals games and that but it just seems like they can't really do anything physically to me because you can go back and sue them